Now let us examine situations where the hypotenuse is known and we need to find the length of one of the legs. Here is a rectangle where the length of one side is 30 units long and the diagonal is 50 units long. However, we do not know the length of the long side of the rectangle. We will use M, N, and P to label the sides of the right triangle. Then we will plug the information we know into the Pythagorean theorem by substituting the values for M and P. 30 squared plus N squared equals 50 squared, or 900 plus N squared equals 2500. The next step is to get N squared by itself on one side of the equation. Remember that what we do to one side of the equation, we also have to do to the other side. In this case, we will subtract 900 from both sides. So N squared equals 1600. 1600 equals 40 times 40 or 40 squared. When we take the square root of both sides, we find that N equals 40. The leg of the right triangle, which is also the side of the rectangle, is 40 units long. We can use the theorem to find the length of a side of a square. We will label the sides of this square, S, and the diagonal, T. We know T is 10 units long, but we do not know the length of the square's sides. Let us insert the length of t into the theorem. s squared plus s squared equals 10 squared. It can also be noted as 2s squared equals 100. Now we will divide both sides by 2, so s squared is by itself on one side of the equation. The result is s squared equals 50. When we take the square root of both sides, we find that s equals 7 and 7 hundredths. The length of the legs of the right triangle, which is also the same as the sides of the square, is 7 and 7 hundredths.